this AWCI Center Special Edition program. It's that time for the Pinnacle Award, and we've had a blast putting together this show about AWCI's most valuable player. Let me tell you a little bit about this guy. He was born and raised in Nebraska, one of five children in a loving, close-knit family. The traditional values he grew up with continue to be a hallmark of both his personal and professional lives today. He was a Boy Scout, wasn't he? Oh yeah. And a member of a children's choir. Very multifaceted. Very entrepreneurial. But interestingly, his first career choice was not in the building industry. Take a look. I remember he always told me how he, when he was younger, he wanted to be an astronaut. So he got in the dryer and um, he closed the door. And back then, the dryers would start going whenever you get in them. And so he said he got in the dryer and it started spinning. And like he couldn't get out till he pushed the door open. The future MVP then decided to explore the field of agriculture. Sean, have you ever gone to the buffet where they serve those little ears of corn? I guess. And have you ever wondered who picks those ears of corn? Jason, I admit, I've never thought about it. Then you may be surprised to learn that when our MVP was a child, area farms would send out buses to hire kids in the neighborhood to husk those little itsy bitsy ears of corn. When they're that small, are they really called ears? Or maybe they're baby toes? <sighs> Whatever they're called, I think it's time we call out this year's recipient of the AWCI Pinnacle Award. Mark Nabity. Mark, the show stop. That's the one. Uh, Mark was an uh, easy child to raise. He was uh, a toddler and uh, elementary school. He would always follow me around and talk about his day and his goals and what he wanted to accomplish. Even as a kid, Mark showed leadership qualities. His classmates followed him, his siblings followed him, and he got them to do some pretty crazy things. For the inside scoop, we talked to one of Mark's sisters, Denise Stencil. We'd play a game like slow motion football. Have you heard about slow motion football? It's a little, it's a little silly. He'd be on his knees, and then Jeff and I, because we were so much smaller, then we'd run the football, and Mark had to run in slow motion on his knees. He uh, was an athlete. He played pretty much a little bit of everything. Played baseball, pretty good baseball player. He swam for years, um, all the way through high school. In fact, Mark was captain of his high school swim team. A lot of people know he's a good swimmer, but here's a fun fact. Mark Nabity used to perform synchronized swimming. No kidding. I kid you not, Sean. Oh, that uh, that's pretty sweet, Mark. I hear it's also extremely difficult, Sean. And, and as you said, sweet. Yeah. I guess uh, that's why he used to drive so many cool cars, you know, because he had to balance things out. Oh, when you wear a Speedo, yeah, you probably have to. Ooh, let, let's, let's not talk about the Speedo anymore. All right, back on, uh, on track here. Anyone who knows Mark knows that sports have always been a big part of his life. To see just how big, we talked to a whole lot of people who could give us details, including Mark's rather athletic approach to the art of dancing. The first time Mark and I ever danced was at a local um, hotel, and uh, I really liked to twirl, and so he was game, and he twirled, and we didn't connect, and I wiped out the entire drum section. <laughs> but we got up and continued dancing. For someone who graduated from Nebraska, we're still amazed that you one, have the dancing ability, and two, can do the gator and then get back up after you've gotten down. The other thing that he really likes to do is play golf. Uh, somewhat like myself, Mark's not the best golfer in the world, but when he hits it, he kills it. And he may hit it 300 yards, but the problem is it may go in the wrong direction. Well, he plays games besides sports. He plays Scrabble, he plays Phase 10, this fun card game, but you know what, Mark never wins at those games. Somebody else in the house does. You know that uh, Scrabble can be a tough game, Jason. Yeah, when you can't get those triple word scores and stuff. Well, we have to take a short break, but when we come back, the story behind Mark's laugh. I think one of the things I don't understand about Mark is a funny story. Him and his um, soul brother, Gabe Ryder, have this one joke that's between them. And whenever they talk about it, they get giddy. And everybody standing around has no idea what they're talking about. We're back. So uh, what are Gabe and Mark laughing about anyway? Beats the hell out of me. We couldn't get anyone to tell us, but we found plenty of people willing to share another very peculiar, and I dare say amusing quirk about Mark. Oh, this should be good. His laugh is very distinctive, and especially on the phone. Um, it's kind of a, a tee-hee that really doesn't fit the, the giant of the man that he is. Oh, what's it sound like? It sounds hee-hee-hee-hee-hee. 
He's so funny when he laughs though, because he chuckles and then he giggles. So you always know when he's laughing about something. <laughs> um, funny stories. I can't think of a thing. <laughs> he has a great laugh, a great sense of humor, but I never heard him tell a joke. <laughs> and I think that's kind of unusual, because he you think he could tell a great joke. <laughs> Can you do that? Uh, do what? You know, the whole Mark Nabity hee <laughs> hee. Uh, no, I wouldn't want to. I'm afraid I might uh, break something. Uh, good call. But no Pinnacle profile would be complete without a look into the honoree's family life. When Mark married Hope, both of them had daughters from previous marriages. I've got a good story about that one. When Mark and Hope were seriously thinking of getting married, they flew the idea past all the girls. Hope's daughter, Megan, she had a few reservations. You know, because Mom and I were by ourselves for seven years, and we're two, two women, and, you know, we're um, a girl and a mom at the time, and we were comfortable around each other, and I just wanted to make sure that he wasn't going to be that comfortable and walk around in his undies. <laughs> I know where she's coming from. Do you? Fortunately, being part of the blended family turned out to be much more than she expected. As a family man, Mark is ideal. He, he uh, is as laid back as he is in the business. That's, that's the way he has, has treated his family throughout the years. He's got three daughters. He's always been a real generous person. Like, he'll do anything in the world for me or any of my sisters. You know, if something happens or we're in trouble, he really talks to us. It's not him yelling, you know, he has a conversation and we talk about it. We had a good talk just recently and um, we talked about his tough love. You know, the tough part of it, meaning teaching me work ethic, teaching me to finish what I start, teaching me to, to aim high and reach my goals and to never settle for less than what I deserve, but the love part being in that I always knew that he was there for me, he was dependable, he supported me in all I did, whether I succeeded in that or learned a lesson and had to try again. I would be proud if, if the man that I marry had any qualities that Mark has. He and Hope have done a wonderful job of raising those children. Benevity graces, come Lord Jesus, be our guest, guest. our morning joy, our evening, evening rest. rest, and with our daily food and part, our love and peace to every heart, amen. It, it's a wonderful prayer, and I learned that when I became a Navity. Well, this is the very strange part. Hope is a beautiful, sophisticated lady, and I can never understand why she's with Mark. Usually you see one, you see the other, and which is a good thing. They like to be around each other, and, uh, and of course we enjoy to be around them too. They have a great relationship. You can definitely tell that they're very much in love. They do a lot of touching and a lot of the, you know, glances, and um, sometimes you want to think that they're just, you know, young, acting like they're young and in their 20s. That's another strange fact. Mark has three girls and Hope and somehow he still maintains his manhood in that household. You know, we've talked about a lot of Mark's talents, and a lot of people probably don't know he really has a wonderful singing voice. The only problem is, great voice, he doesn't always know the words. But there is one song he knows all the words to, especially when he's driving a manly black expedition. Let's go, girl. Man, I feel like a woman. Wow. Well, that would explain the synchronized swimming. Uh, yeah. 